This is a Sanyo 14500 lithium ion battery. And I'm going to use this battery to replace all of these alkaline batteries inside this case. And in this video particularly, I'm going to use this to replace the AA size alkaline batteries because it is exactly the same size as the AA size alkaline battery. 14500 implies 14 millimeter in diameter, 50 millimeter long. And that's exactly the same size as a AA size battery. Every year, a single American household uses between 50 to 100 alkaline batteries. And that's about the same amount of batteries that's inside this case. It is very heavy. That's a lot of money wasted. And then all of these batteries will eventually end up in the landfill. Stop wasting your money and stop buying all of these alkaline batteries and then polluting your own land and water afterwards. I'm going to show you a simple method to turn your alkaline batteries into something a lot better. And our ancestor has been doing this for thousands of years. You take a spoon and then you take another spoon and you knock on it. So when you're knocking on it, the sound wave created by the spoon will travel through the alkaline battery and turn it into a lithium-ion battery. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. Have you seen those ads on YouTube? I don't see how people believe in that. I mean, it's ridiculous and funny at the same time. All right, let's move on. I'm going to talk about why this lithium ion battery can be used to replace the alkaline batteries. So for devices that use three or two alkaline batteries, this battery can be used to replace the alkaline batteries. For example, this LED light here requires three alkaline batteries. One and a half volts each for the alkaline, so three of these in series is four and a half volts. This one here runs on average about 4 volts. It's only about half a volt difference. So for most of the time, it would still work with just one of these. Some devices use two alkaline batteries. And one of these, when it's new, is about 1.7 volts. So two of these in series is 3.4 volts. So this one here, this flashlight uses two alkaline batteries. This one, on average, is between when it is running between four volts and when it's depleted it's about three volts so on average it's about three and a half volts which is about the same as two of these connected in series so over here i have three devices that use different configuration for alkaline batteries this one is three of them connected in series this one requires six alkaline batteries in a cartridge and this one requires two alkaline batteries and you have to put all the way in there. So how do you connect one single lithium ion battery in all of these devices? That's what I'm going to show you next. The first thing you have to do is to modify the lithium ion battery because it has a flat top unlike the alkaline battery which has a nipple that sticks out about let's say one millimeter. This nipple allows the battery to reach and touch the terminal when you insert into the battery case. And because the lithium-ion battery has a flat top when you insert it into the battery case, there's a gap between the battery terminal and the terminal on the case, so it's not touching. And therefore, no connection is made between the battery and the circuit board. I spot welded the nickel strip right on the battery terminal and now I'm going to fold it and then I'm going to fold it again the other way and then I fold it again the other way now I have a nipple that sticks out probably about two millimeter now let's see if it works there we go now it's touching the terminal. Here is the close-up to show you what it looks like. 
If you don't have a spot welder, you can just put a blob of solder on the terminal. The problem with solder is that it tends to flatten out and it doesn't raise high enough. So you probably have to put in a copper wire before you put solder on it. So if you have a spot welder, it will be easier and faster. Now that we have the battery ready, we put it in. But we cannot turn it on yet. Nothing happens. And that's because the main positive terminal is here, main negative terminal is here. Okay, the main negative terminal of the battery is right here, and between here and here is not connected. So we have to connect between this terminal and this terminal together, and this and this together in order to bridge the gap between here and here. I'm going to bridge the gap by using something conductive like a screw. So if I put the screw here and connect these two terminals together and they'll be connected, do the same thing on this side. Problem with the screw is that it's too skinny and um, it, it will flop around in here and it's not secure. So we need to fill it up and make it the same size as a double A battery. Let me show you a couple of ways to do this. The first way is to cut a piece of foam and drill a hole in the center and thread the screw through. And that way it will be the same size as a double A, but it has two metal terminals on the ends. The second way is to roll a piece of cardboard paper and uh, wrap it around the screw, as you can see here. And now it's the same size as the double A with two metal terminals at the ends. But my preferred method is to use foam tape. This is for door and window seal. Wrap it around the screw. About the same size as a double A. Cut. That's it and you're done. And it doesn't have to cover the entire length of the screw either. Let's go ahead and put it in. Just like that. Boom. Now we are ready to turn it on. The screw I'm using is machine screw size 1024 by 2 inch. The 2 inch length is perfect for a double A size battery. So with this method, I'm able to use one single lithium ion battery to replace three alkaline batteries. But I only have one third the capacity compared to three alkaline batteries. And that's because one of these lithium ion is about the same capacity as one single alkaline battery. Now let's do some calculation here to compare between the lithium ion and alkaline. This one here is 740 milliamp hour or 0.74 amp hour, right? And voltage is 4 volts. So you take 0.74 times 4, and that's about 3 watt hour. This one here is about 2 amp hour capacity, right? 2 amp hour times 1.5 volts, and that's about 3 watt hour. So the capacity between the lithium ion and the alkaline is almost about the same. So in order to maximize the capacity on this device, I need to put two more lithium ion battery to occupy the empty spaces here. The problem here is each of these is about 4 volts. And if I put two more of these in here, they are connected in series. And the total voltage output is 12 volts. And that is going to burn the circuit board on here. So I need to modify the series connection on this case to make it and turn it into a parallel connection. Let's take a look at the battery case here. We've got two of these terminals are connected together and there is a gap between this terminal and this terminal. So between here and here they are not connected. Same here on the top. You got these two terminals. They are connected together and there's a gap between this terminal and this terminal, and between these two terminals, they are not connected together. Let me show you a very simple way to turn the series connection here into parallel connection by connecting the gap between the two terminals together. So on the bottom here, we're just going to connect 
the gap between this and that together on the top we're going to do the same thing connect the gap between this and that and now they're going to be all in parallel instead of series so here we go I use a nickel strip and spot welded to this terminal here now put it in here and spot weld the rest of the nickel strip to this terminal here so here it is you can see the nickel strip bridging the two terminals together right here and over here on this side that's the nickel strip that's bridging these two terminals together so now all three of these terminals are connected together in parallel and all three of these on the top here are connected together in parallel this middle terminal here with the spring used to be the negative terminal now it becomes a positive terminal now when I put in the battery I have to make sure the positive terminal of the battery goes to the spring and not the negative terminal otherwise it will short out that's why I put red tapes on the top part of the case to make sure that it's the positive terminal it's on the top so now one battery in see if we can turn it on you can see there I cannot turn it on it should turn on but I cannot turn it on that's because this terminal here now is not touching the terminal on the case because there is a gap there's a there's supposed to be a nipple here right to reach this terminal here but this is flat so I'm gonna have to make a nipple on the negative side of the battery in order to reach this terminal here so here it is I got my nickel strip welded to the negative terminal and it's sticking out about two millimeter now let's try this again voila it's working now with just one battery right in the middle now I can put the other two batteries in and it will face the normal way it's not uh, backward anymore now they're all connected in parallel there we go it's working beautiful now I have the same capacity as three alkaline battery and the difference now is they're rechargeable instead of using a throwaway battery now let's talk about this flashlight here it uses two alkaline batteries so let's put it in and now I'm gonna replace the alkaline batteries with a single lithium ion battery but the problem is now it's too short so I'm going to use a screw I made earlier and uh, just put it in here and now I put this in there now we cap it up and there we go in this case I cannot use two lithium ion battery for this flashlight because it will be too much voltage right that's only about three and a half volts this is eight volts so by using a screw it will be the same voltage as two alkaline battery so next let's talk about this flashlight here it has a cartridge where it contains six AA alkaline batteries got three cells on the top three cells on the bottom not all of them are connected together in series and the output is not nine volts the top part of the cartridge has three cells and they are connected together in series same on the bottom but between the top and the bottom they are connected together in parallel so the output on the whole cartridge is only four and a half volts and not nine volts modifying this cartridge to make all of the batteries connected in parallel is extremely easy and it doesn't even require spot welding or soldering at all let me show you we got on the bottom here we got two of these connected together okay? and then that is separate so all we have to do is connect these two to that terminal same thing on the top right so we got two of these connected together and that on the other side is separate so all we have to do is connect between here and here together all I have to do is to take a nickel strip 
push it through the bottom here and we go through the other side and go to the bottom of the other terminal you can see there that's it now they're all connected there's no need to spot weld or solder them together I'm gonna do the same thing on this side here I'm gonna take my nickel strip and push it through the bottom and it will go through the other side underneath the terminal and now they are all connected so when you put the battery in the battery is going to push down on that nickel strip and it will hold that nickel strip in place it's not going anywhere and that's for the top part of the cartridge I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom part of the cartridge every single cell is connected in parallel let's give it a try I'm just gonna put on one single sail on here and see what we got let's check out on the voltage 4.14 volts there we go just one single sail on the entire cartridge now let's put it in the flashlight and see if it works with just one single sail on the entire cartridge There we go, it's working. One single lithium ion cell. So with this setup, I can have an option to put in any quantity of cells in this cartridge. One, two, three, four, five, or six. It doesn't matter how many cells I put in here, they are all connected in parallel. The more cells I have in here, the more capacity I have, but I don't have to put in all of them. I can just use one. This is my favorite because this is so easy to modify and it's easy to undo the modification because all I have to do is just to pull out the nickel strip and I can just put my alkaline battery back in there if I need to. This process is reversible whereas this process is not. They are spot welded together, so I cannot put alkaline batteries in here anymore because they will short out. So there you have it folks, how to modify your electrical devices to run on lithium ion battery instead of a double A. And there's more to this 14500 lithium ion batteries than just replacing double A. It can also replace other alkaline batteries too, 9 volt, triple A, C, D. It will make all of these alkaline batteries obsolete for my next project. I'm going to try and replace all of these alkaline batteries with the 14500. Stay tuned and I will see you next time.